This week on Squash Skills, we've been lucky enough to have the world's hardest hitter, Cameron Pilly, on the site. Cameron's been talking about generating power and has explained to our members how they can go about introducing power into their own game. In this video, we're going to look at Mohamed El Shabagi using power effectively in three different situations. The first two see him hitting a straight drive followed by a straight kill, and the third scenario sees him hitting an out-and-out -out winner with a powerful straight kill. So the first one sees him going to the back corner and hitting a really effective attacking drive, forcing James Willstrop to hit a loose ball into the middle of the court. From there, Mohamed's able to generate power very quickly, step onto the ball and put the ball into an area, having forced James to be in a position stuck behind him. The next scenario sees Mohamed again get onto a ball very quickly and hit a quick drive into the back corner. The drive sits up a tiny bit off the back wall, but he's got onto the ball early and really attacked the ball and generated pace. From there, he's then able to get onto the next ball and hit a quick kill and put the ball in tight against the side wall using that power and pace where Simon's deep on the tee and simply not able to get the ball back. The final scenario sees Mohamed playing the same shot, the kill, from the middle of the court with a lot of pace but using the side wall for protection, getting the ball into an area quickly, forcing his opponent not to be able to get the ball off the side wall. So from this clip, you can see that Mohamed is able to generate power and end the rally quickly by getting his opponent slightly out of position. It's that use of power at the right time that allows him to finish the rally quickly and effectively. If you can get on court and practice hitting the ball with power and nice and accurately, you'll be able to do the same thing. 